Okay, so I have unmuting yourself. Okay, so hello everybody on the third talk on our Infinity Category series. Uh, so today we will have Aziz who will talk on uh, quasi categories. Uh, so this will be introduction to quasi categories. So a couple of announcements. Uh, firstly, we are recording this talk. So uh, if you don't want your, uh, I don't know, face to be recorded, you can of course stop your video. And also uh, for participants via Zoom, if you want to ask any questions, feel free to unmute yourself and ask the question or write it on the chat. Otherwise, uh, it is my job to keep you muted. Uh, okay, so thank you very much and over to you, Aziz. Thank you, Gore. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. Your camera and there we are. Yeah, Here is clear. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's start. So as we said in the last talk, uh, that we like category itself, the definition of category, not built for to, to do homotopy theory. But we can do homotopy theory in the category we use the cylinder, like we use artificial things, not but the category itself it's not built to, to do homoto uh, homotopy theory because we not include naturally there the higher order uh, morphisms that the homotopies and homotopies between homotopies is not naturally there. So our goal is to give the model for things look like a category, like have the things that we have a category will show this, but uh, this thing that have also uh, the higher order homotopy and have this homotopy. We will see, we'll see this. So our first uh, model for this will be quasi category. But le let's start from what we said in the last talk. Actually, I meant li like the two talks before, the talk of uh, Professor David Blank, he explains this idea of infinity category. But in the last talk, we talk about uh, simplicial sets. And uh, we uh, define uh, the nerve of a category, so let's, remind you this, the nerve of a category given, actually small category we mean like, okay, this is, a, here I mean the, the category of the small categories, okay? Given this, we define the nerve as a simplicial set. We define the nerve of C to be simplicial sets, how it's look like, this simplicial sets, actually the, the zero, the zero simplex is the object of C. The one is morphism of G, of C, sorry, the morphism of C. The two is all two composable maps, the G, X, Y, Z. Okay, F and uh, G is in the, but we see that like, the end of F is a, uh, the beginning of G and uh, more yeah, and so on, okay? Like in CK, it's the prism of K morphism here. This one is okay. Louder? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, so this is the nerve the nerve of a category, the, this gives us simplicial set. Let, let me remind you what is the faces map and the degeneracy map. The face map, like from here to here, we have from, uh, ah, here to here, sorry. We can, okay, this is uh, D, D0, like the face zero when we remove this. D2 when we remove this, uh, D1 when we take the composition. The same for this, like I have K here. Oh, no, here I have to take XK plus, one, okay, so the D0, I remove the first one, the D, uh, uh, K here, I remove the last one, but the, the other, it's by composing, composing something in the middle, the, the faces, uh, the inner faces, okay. The, for the GLC, we just add, like, uh, I look at this, okay, this is, if I look at this as a sub-diagram in, uh, in uh, the subdiagram, but the order here too. I am two simplex subdiagram in in the category, so I can look at this as subdiagram of order three by adding the identity here, right? Yeah. So this is the jersey, like here. This is uh, S zero. When I apply S zero, like S zero of this will be 
this, okay? And then we can do the identity here, or the identity here, okay? So this uh, is simply shell set, but actually we said last time that this is a functorial construction. Like actually we have, we can see this as a functor from uh, the world of category, the world of simply shell sets. So we can write it as a functor. Actually, this is a C. Actually, it's going to uh, the uh, just a minute. Yeah. C. Like uh, what I mean by this, I mean this functor from delta opposite, this functor from delta opposite to set. So this is functorial. Uh, but what we said last time, that this functor, it's fully faithful. And this is important, fully faith, faithful. What, what we mean by fully faithful, actually it's, it's mean that every, if I have, uh, here's a category, from, I, I mean here uh, the, uh, the functor from C to, Z, to D, like two categories, is the same as uh, the simplicial sets of the nerve of this, okay? So when we have fully faithful, today, we can think about uh, categories inside this. Like we can think about every category as uh, simply shall set the nerve of this category, and we can think about every functor as actually we have more here, but we don't want to talk about this. We can think about every functor as a map between simply shall sets here, okay? Corresponding one, okay? This actually is a very good way to move from a category like we have uh, just one to simply shall sets that is more richer, but let's. First of all, define what what is the property of nerve. Like when when I have simply shell set, how I can know if it's nerve of some category or not nerve of some category? What's uh, defined the, the nerve? What, what's the property? So we have the following proposition. Given simply shut. Okay. Then the, the following is equivalent. Following are equivalent. One to be a nerve, like X is a nerve for some. Some category, small category. Two, the, the map from here, the map from X is and to this map to the spine. I, I will, I will, uh, this called the spine. This can I do for here. Yeah, what's called the spine, right? This one. The spine when I take, when I have a simplex, I take just I have this pyramid. I take this like 0, 1, 2, 3. I take 0, this. What, what is called the spine? Yeah. The spine, right. This I mean by the spine of uh, N here. Here I mean the N simplex. Okay, maybe I, I I used this notation last time. Okay. Actually, we have inclusion from here to here, right? From spine, spine of N, like this, what I wrote here, this is a spine of, this is spine uh, three, okay? And this is delta three. So we have inclusion from here to here, right? 
we have inclusion from here to here. So this inclusion induces the map from here to here. So this map for every n uh, will be a bijective, okay? So uh, Aziz, this uh, map is bijective, yes. Uh, spine is the, the horn is the same? No, 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 not the horn. No, no, no. No, this is the spine. You see here? But they can't see. Ah, they can see, sorry. sorry I will. Yeah, yeah, I will see this. Yeah, yeah, I will see. Yeah. yeah. I can continue here to write here. Okay, until I'll delete it. Okay, I can write here. Yeah. Yeah, so we are fixing the second camera, so sorry for this. Okay, okay, I can continue here. Okay, so the spine is what we mean, like here, this is a... This is delta three and span three of delta three is just this. Okay, just this. Uh, so it is this, this. Okay, this is a spine. It's okay. Samir, now it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, and that, well, as Jan says, like we can say this one. It's exactly. Xn, right? And this one, what is this one? Actually, it's just it's a, like product of, like not the product, but a limit of uh, some x1. But they have the end of this is the beginning of this, the end of this is the beginning of this, this. So we can write here x1, right? Sometimes this for every end. Yeah. Actually, we see this in the definition, like one direction, it's so obvious, right? One direction is at the nerve. Actually, this uh, map is is bijective because uh, the nerve is defined by this map, like, right? This is the nerve, what we don't have something in the pen. And uh, the third, uh, I can write here. I can write now. Very good. And the third condition is that <clears throat> from this to the horn also is by section from here to the horn. Uh, the horn I have to write like this. Uh, inner horn, sorry, for every N. No, oh, actually, we don't need the yeah. and for every K between. In a row. Okay. This also here we can write for the because otherwise it's obvious. Yeah. So okay, we have this. Actually, this we will need later. Okay, this we will need later to describe other models of uh, infinite one category. But let's now focus between one and the three. One and the three. This what is this tell us actually that the use map from we have map from the horn to here, the inclusion, and every map here to x, like every horn inside the simplicial sets x is can uh, extend in unique way. Can extend unique way because it's bijective, like it's subjective and injective. So it can extend but in unique way. Okay, this is what it tell us here. Okay, this is the same. To say that only for inner home, right? Only for inner home. Okay, so this is the yes. Yeah, x. All these are equivalent to be to be nerve of C. Like to be, we want to. to what is the image of this? Okay. How how the category look like when she is uh, simply 
initial sets. Okay, because we can't think about cut distribution, but how it looks like, what is the property? So we have these two important properties that lead us to define uh, infinity one category, but we will focus in this talk on this, on this one, because we want the quasi uh, category, the quasi model of model uh, So let me just explain maybe this again, like one holds two, it's easy to, to recognize, okay? But why, why if we have three, we, uh, sorry, one to three, but why if we have three, we get one? Like how we can build this category? This will be important for us later. So why one by, by sorry, by three, we got one. Why, let's explain this a little bit, okay? Okay, so Explanation for this. Um, well, how we can get the category? Like I have some special sets that have this property. How we can get from this category that this is the nerve of this? How we can, what we define the morphism of this category? Is that the object of this category? Like we now want category C. We want to build the category C. What's the object of C will be? X0, right? And what the morphism of C? X1, okay? And then what is the composition? Will be the composition. So the composition, because, okay, we know that in the nerve, the composition is what appears here, right? If I have, in the nerve of a category, if I have this F and this G, then the composition will appear here because this will appear as a two simplex. This will appear into, right? And then the composition is this, D1 of this, right? So we will define the composition like given F and G in X1. Of course, I need something that the source and the, the same. So I need that D0 of F to be equal to D1 of G, okay? Then, by this property, by this property, because we have from this horn, if I take this horn and I take here F and G to X, it's exactly this. I can do this because they have the end of F is the beginning of a G, but this, I can fill it, right? I can find unique one from here to here. What is unique one from here to here? It's exactly to choose someone in X2, right? Is exactly so I I can fill it uniquely right I can fill it uniquely and then because it's uniquely I can define it as a, to be the composition as it's well defined in this case it's well defined the composition okay so then this is f so I take we have this then we take the composition we define the composition to be uh, d1 of this sigma because it's unique it's well defined right. Now, why we got uh, that we have uh, uh, here uh, associativity? Because we need associativity for the composition. Or before associativity, why we have uh, the identity here? Why we have, what we define the identity here? We go to the nerve. In the nerve, we know that the identity is the degeneracy of the, right? Like what is the, in the nerve, what is the degeneracy of some object X? I don't have to move too much here, sorry. <laughs> So I have sorry. If I have in the uh, something uh, here, like in C, some object in C, X in C, then we know that in the nerve, the degeneracy of this, it's exactly the identity, right? From X to X. So here we define the identity to be, we define the identity of X to be the degeneracy of X. For every x in x0. And then why is this play the role of the identity? Like if I have f, okay, I use this notation. When I write like this, what I mean by this? I mean that I have uh, one simplex, that d0 of this one simplex is y, d1 of this is x, okay? This is what I mean. I will use this notation all the time. Okay, so if we have this and we uh, compose by what we do is to compose, what is the rule of the composition? It's like this, like I put here is zero of y 
And then by this property, I can fill it in unique way. So why I get here f again, if this is in unique way? Because there is unique way to do this. It's if I take the degeneracy of f, actually how it look like the degeneracy of f by the rules of uh, of simplicial sets. Because s is simplicial sets. If we take the rule of simplicial sets, so s zero of f. If I apply d zero on this, this will give me f. If I apply uh, maybe I need S1, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, S1 because we did the GRC. If I do <clears throat> S1, this will give me the, we can see from this, D0, it's this. Yeah, this will give me uh, the, uh, sorry, S0 of D0 uh, of F. And d0 of s is y, so it's 0 of y, right? And if I uh, doing d2 uh, of this, of s1 of f, this will give me f. So exactly like this, s1 of f will be the one that fill it, the unique one that fill it. We prove that there is one. We know that fill it, depends on it. But we know that in this simplicial set, there is unique one that do this. So this will be s1 of f, okay? So, so because we know that this is f1 of f, then the composition, as we defined it, will be d1 of s1 of f, and this also by the identities of the simplicial set. This is f. Okay? So we get that this is the identity. We can do this in the other direction. For the associativity, why we get the associativity? Again, what we're doing actually, we say that this, if we have simplicial sets that have this, uh, this property, then this is a category, just a category, and we can define, we can look at the object as a, uh, x0 and the morphism as x1 and define composition in this way. So for the associativity, actually, if we have f and g, then uh, f and g and h, okay, then we know that the only way to to fill it, it's by fg, right? And the only way it's to fill it, to fill this, when this will be gh, okay? And then let's fill it, let's fill this one to be f, uh, what it will be to fill it. So we know that the only way, then this will define to be this, these things, right? But then here we have actually inner hole, right? This is inner hole because this is what? This is one. This is three. Yeah. This is one. So we can fill it, right? Because of this property, like every hole, we can fill it. So the filling of this, fill this, uh, the, the, okay, let's call it 0, 1, 3. So 0, 1, 3 will be here G, F, and here H, okay? So we know that this filling, so here what we have, what we will have, H, F, G, H. Okay, so this say, say, tell us that this have to be equal to this, right? Because we have unique filling. Here we have unique filling. So we filled it by this unique. And then we looked at the, the property in the higher order dimension. In dimension three, like I have this horn, I can fill fill this by three simplex, all this. But we, then we look just at this side. So we fill this side, but we know that this is uniquely filled. This have to be the composition. So this composition equal to this composition. So we get the associativity. Okay, so this is good because this what tell us when we uh, define now quasi category to be something that, uh, a little bit similar, similar to the nerve of a category. So we know that nerve of category, it looks like this. Okay? So what does this remind us from the last talk? This property. What is this property? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Zero, one, two, so I take this one. Yeah, yeah, take this one. Thank you. Okay, so what does this uh, remind us from the last talk? This, this uh, property of this simplicial set. It's, it's remind us can complex, right? 
And we show that can complex, it's uh, the, we need it to do homotopy theory last time, right? So let's, let's uh, do a picture. And what is the relation between can complex and can complexes and it's, what is the property? So in the, in the world of simplicial sets, this is the world of simplicial sets. Here, uh, simplicial sets. In the world, we have can complexes. And can complexes has this property. What is the property of the, the one? It's have lifting. Lifting, but when lifting, when k uh, is a bit we, zero and n. Okay, let me write the lifting property. Let me take the same. I wanted this one. Okay, anyway, I can continue with this. So it's have a lifting. Here we have a horn, x. We have a lifting, but not, not unique. It's just there is lifting. Okay, sometimes, sorry, I write like this, sometimes like this, because last time I, I used this to mention the topological space. I used this to mention uh, the simplicial sets, but the standard simplicial set. But anyway, I mean here also the standard simplicial sets. So it's by the context you can know what I. Okay, so this is the property we have. And uh, this is scan complexes. We can fill, but not uniquely. Not I uh, have to be uniquely, okay? And here is the word of uh, nerve of a category. We can say categories, right? Okay, because we look at categories, small categories. Okay, so we can lift, what is the property? The property of this is this, the property of this, that we can uh, lift uniquely, but we can lift uniquely, but not for every, like not in the side, just for the inner, right? Because we think about this is the composition. And now, okay, this is good for homotopy theory. And this is good for category theory, right? And we want something that includes this and this inside the simplicial set. So if we think the minimal property that like that include both can complexes and categories, like we want to generalize category and we want to generalize this, this will be quasi category. So one can see that the property will be a quasi categories. Uh, so quasi categories will be lifting that have this property of lifting. Now, I want it to be in the inner because otherwise I will not include this. But also I want to remove, like I remove the, from here this be in the inner and I remove from here uh, the unique, okay? Okay. And one can see the uniquely it's what make the composition is just composition between uh, just Two simplexes, just this composition is unique, and then everything's above it's unique. Okay, this because because it's unique uh, composition. What? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. We will talk about this. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. it's not. Yeah, okay. It's right, right. Structure is true. Uh, okay, so so this this what this is the property what we want, and we will see in this by relaxing like we. Look at the this property in uh, in categories, and we just relax in this by remove this the uniquely and the uniquely we will see that this what allowed us to talk about higher because by this we killed everything higher order morphism by this uniquely okay okay so let's now uh, the definition it's obvious or I I have to write the definition let me write the definition and. Yeah, three of them are equivalent. Yeah, I can explain, like uh, you can explain that this is equivalent to this. 
actually, because actually you have in the nerve, like what defined uh, your simplex in the nerve is just a spine, like you have simplex X3 in the nerve. What is simplex in X3 in the nerve? It's just F, G, H. How it look like, like what is the faces of this? You can write it like this, F, G, H, and here, and here. And you know already that it's uh, defined this face, it's defined everything like this. This is defined just by three of these, right? It's not obvious. It's defined by, by the, spine, the, the spine of this, right? Ah, one to two is easy. Ah, why two give us one? No, it's it's not also uh, hard because you can, uh, like you can define again the composition to be uh, this one, like the D1 of this, because actually you have a bijection here from uh, this to this. Yeah? Like you have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, even easier here, I think. Yeah, it's not... Uh, like if you have this property, uh, if you don't have, uh, you have this property, you define the same, what I defined there. And how you define composition, like if you have uh, two, like F and uh, G here, that have the same, like uh, the end of this is the same as the this. You define this to be the, the, the map from here to here, because it's bijection from uh, here to here. Yeah? You define this to be this one. Uh, no, so sorry, D1 of this one. Yeah? Because there is a unique way to fill it. Like if you, maybe you can move also from here to here. That you, if you prove that you can fill it, uh, fill everything like this, like this. Uh, this uh, there is a unique way to fill. Yeah? And uh, this, there uh, is a unique way to fill. And then you continue, and then for this, there is a unique way to fill. Yeah? Then you have a unique way also to fill the other one from X3, right? Because you have, uh, again, like this one also fill this one. And things like this, it's not the... Uh, yeah, but we don't need this for this talk, actually, but this we will need later. So. Uh, okay, so let me give the definition of the quasi category. So definition, a simple shell set X is called quasi category if uh, we have let or maybe let's say it's by this way it's even easier to say that this map from here to here, it's surjective. Is surjective. Okay, so we can feel, but not uniquely, of course, for every, if for uh, every n than 2k between 0 and n, the inner, if we can, the inner horn, if we can fill the inner horn. Okay, and now, okay, we got the definition, got the motivation, where is the definition comes from, but I want to convince you why we can, uh, why it's look like category, but we thinking about homotopy all the time. There is homotopy relation and category, but mixed together, like all the time we we uh, compose up to homotopy and up to Habayer homotopy. We will show this. It's better to start to explain. Uh, so some construction, let's say construction. Now it's easy because we show in the nerve how it's look like this. That what I did this from three to one there in this proposition because it's easy now to say what is the object, what is the morphism, right? So given a quasi category, given 
et vasi kategorii x, then the object of x will be x0, the morphism of x will be x1, okay? And we have this like target, again, we will use this, like if I have f to in x1, uh, so I will use this notation. What I mean by this, I mean that d1 of x is, d1 of f, sorry, is x, d0 of f is y. Yeah. And now, how the composition look like? So we will imitate this picture. Come over here, yeah. We limited this, what we did here, and we can define, like the simplex that fill, we take D1 of this, right? A composition. Okay, let's take F and G. Again, the last time I say this, I mean here, uh, that we have one simplex, another one simplex, but d1 of this, d0 of this is equal to d1 of this, okay? This is what I mean by this picture, okay? Even like f and g here in x1, and uh, they have d1 of f is equal to d0 of f is equal to d1 of g, okay? We have this. How we define the composition? We know that we can fill it. D, no, no, there is no D2 here. It's one simplex. Ah, uh, D1 of G, like yeah, this. Okay. Yeah. And then, actually, how we define the composition, we fill it, we can fill it uniquely, like we have here the map FG to X. You know what I mean by this map that sends this simplex to F, this is the simplex to G. And this is D2, delta 2, okay? This is the horn. Inner hole, right? This is inner hole. Uh, two here, one here, right? This is inner hole, so we can fill it. But what is the, not uniquely, this is a problem with the composition. So people define it like composition with witness. Okay, so we have symbolics that fill it. We have symbolix, we have some symbolics here. This is the map. This is just simplex. The map from here to here is just a simplex in X2. So we have like X2 such that the, if I uh, uh, restrict it to this, uh, I will get FG, right? Of something like this. Uh, so we define, we define the composition of f, uh, okay, the composition fg with witness sigma to be uh, d1 of sigma, okay? So it's different, like we have a composition with witness, Okay, it's not the like it's it's not the good definition. Like, okay, what well, what is it? But we will talk about this uh, later. Let's uh, now move to the uh, identity. Like we already know ah, here is a picture. Like we we know how to define the identity to be the degeneracy of some object. Like the identity from x to x is the degeneracy of x. And why is the degeneracy actually? It's really like if because we have this, okay. We have if, and then if from x to y, and then there is the degeneracy of y. Okay, we can fill it by again, we can fill it by S0f as I did before and get here f. But what if we filled it by something else? If we fill it by some, by some sigma, and here we get the d1 of sigma. This is not supposed to be f, but, but what is the feeling? What is the, the relation between this and f? The same in the other direction. 
if I take here a zero of x and I def and I fill it by tau here f. So d1 of tau, what is the relation between between uh, the f and the one of sigma or what is the relation between uh, f and the one of sigma or the one of tau sorry what is the relation between this and actually this is hold us to define homotopy it's homotopy, right? It's like I have map in the same direction, and I have like a way to go from this to this, right? By many maps here. It's homotopy, right? So this will be the definition of homotopy. So definition given f and g. In x1, okay. If I say the x, like I mean all the times that I quasi category, okay. X is my quasi category. Sitting here, we work on quasi category. Watching, okay. If I have f and g such that d1 of f equal to d1 of g, d0 of f equal to d0 of g, they have the same uh, target and the same. Yeah, the same source and the same target, if they have, then we define uh, F. Okay, F is homotopic to G if there is a simplex in X2 such that, uh, let, let me make a picture and then we can explain. Here, what we put, we put here a, a zero of the the a zero of f or of g. It doesn't matter. Okay, the target. Okay, let's call it x y. It will be easier to call it x y. Like this is x, this is y. So here, this is zero of y. So if I have something like this, so how how to say this? Like that, zero one. Hmm. Zero, one, two. So this, such that uh, d zero of uh, sigma is s zero y, d one of sigma is g, d two of sigma it's f. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, the same spirit actually, because uh, you need actually uh, to be uh, it can complex in order to be equivalence relation, right? Right. Here is the same. We say th this will be to be equivalence relation. We need this. So you mean maybe homotopy between what? Between uh, between the pi zero like or homotopy between uh, three function. Like, I, I think you can consider the Ah, this is what you mean. Ah, the homotopy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will talk about this. Right, right, right. No, we will talk later. We will see how this. When we do the algebra way, we will see that we need this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, now I understand your question. Right. Yeah, yeah, coincide, 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 coincide. Yeah, you mean this? Yeah, yeah. Now I understand you. You mean here F, here G, and here we have. Yeah. Actually, you know, let's talk about this now. If you ask, let's talk about this now because even this definition, maybe one can ask why you didn't define it to be this. Yeah. To be like this, like here. Uh, 
here is 0x to be some simplex that fill, fill this. Why we defined it like this? But this is equivalent. Let, let's show that this is equivalent. And, and by the same way, you can show that uh, what you suggested is equivalent because we will face this, what you suggested now. Okay, so let before, okay, before we, uh, we confuse you, we, sorry, we convince you that this is a equivalence relation. Uh, let's uh, define why we didn't define this like this, okay? Why? I can uh, continue here, right? I didn't, yeah. yeah. Uh, why not to define like this, uh, like this, that I have some tau here that connect between F and G. Uh, this zero one zero one two, okay. Why not to define? Because this are this is equivalence because the following picture show showing that this is the same. Okay, I prepared this picture so I Okay, if we have this, like if we start like what we start before, F, G, like this, okay? And uh, here is zero of Y. Uh, maybe I did it in the other direction. Okay, we can change between F and G, so it doesn't matter, okay? doesn't matter because we will show that this is symmetric actually we will show that this if we start with this we can continue we can do something like this we can add here these things what is this this uh, in inside this will be s zero of g this one and this is the sigma that we have there and we will put here we will put here in this one. We will put uh, again. No, now it's one of G in this one. It's one of G. Okay, here it's one of G because yeah, this is G G. Here also G. Okay, G G, and uh, this is Y. Okay, so let, let's just take the number uh, zero. This is zero one two three. So this one. This one I didn't fill this one. I just filled this one. This one is sigma, the this one is sigma. Okay, this is what we had before. And here I put it something that we did. And then we get this. I will okay. I will mention the one that we didn't fill. This is the way of Salman. Salman I let me suppose. I mentioned one that we didn't fill it. And so we have the horn. We have this horn and this inner horn because it's yeah, this is inner horn for two. And we can fill it now because of the property. If we fill it, we get this homotopy like this. Yeah? Okay, so this is the same. But actually, the, the other direction from the same picture, we can get from the same picture the other direction because we can fill it. Like if we have this, we can fill it, but not fill this. But this is also inner hole. Yeah, so we can. Okay, so uh, the syntax 0, 2, and 3 is the one with the definition uh, of the right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you need also uh, the syntax uh, like of the form given over there, right? Yeah, yeah, we will get this here by the same f, the common f, this uh, ah, okay. h. Yeah, it's common. It's something technique. Actually, this is a technique that people will do. Uh, that's why I prepared this because if I want now to do this, this will take a time. It's, yeah, it's something a technique that people all the time do, but, but we will show later some uh, algebraic way how to do all together without this, uh, like all the time use this thing. But this show actually that if we have this, then we have this. But by the same way, we can show that if we have this, we have this by the same picture. But we not fill the, we we fill this, and we, this will be the the one. Inner hole inside this, and when we fill, we get this. Okay.
And by the same way, you can show what uh, what you said, like it's yeah, it's the same. It will be the same. Maybe one direction it's easy because actually inside this picture, what you said inside this picture, like I have f here and g here, right? And I have here the identity on x, like s zero x, and here is uh, zero y, right? But actually, it's, it's obvious that you have like homotopy to something and then homotopy to something else. But if we know that this is uh, like this one is equivalence relation, so we can do this uh, from here to here, uh, like one one direction. It's got from the transitivity. Like from the transitivity, we got that if we have this, we have this from the transitivity. It's okay. Like if you have this, what you what you said, like you have some uh, map from the x uh, to this, like yeah, what is this? Yeah, 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 direct angle. Yeah, yeah. This is we have this, but actually here you have like two, like homotopy from here to something in the middle, and then homotopy from this. Actually, this if one. What? Yeah, no, I, I think no, no. In the sense of that. With the sense of this, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. This is a valence relation. You, you, actually, other direction you can find the book like this is what the definition that we have from F to G. This is the definition. Why? Because in this definition, I avoid this, uh, this uh, conversation that why we didn't define this like this and like this because this have both. You see, this have both this one and this one. This have both. But th but this one, it's a more that not uh, this called the right, this is the left, something like this. But this one, if I define like this from the beginning, no one will say to me why it's not symmetric. Why you define like this? Why you don't define like this? Yeah. But actually, because of the properties of the quasi of this filling the hole, you can prove that all these are the same. Okay. No, it's technique. Maybe I will prove just the symmetric. Why? Because I need this for other uh, what? Yeah, yeah. To to prove this, yeah, we need some sort of this picture and this technique uh, to but but to. But... Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I need to say because you ask. Yeah, but then no. Before before because I defined it already. Then the first question: Why? Why it's not defined like this? But it's can defined like this because the same. And the same like this, all the same, okay? What? Yeah, why it's actually, why if we have, if we have this, we have this, because yeah, we can continue by identity, right? But why if we have this, we have this because this is a equivalence relation. We have transitive. Yeah, you have. No, I uh, will not improve because say, I, there is more like important things to do in this one home and help them to prove this technique. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The transitivity is important. Yeah, it's a uh, it's exercise for you. <laughs> no, I will do the symmetric because the symmetric. We will use in uh, the symmetric will show us why it's infinity one category. Infinity one category. The symmetric tell us this. Okay, uh, but the transitivity is tell us something important. Tell us this. But believe me that it's a transitive. So I... Okay. Uh, so the thing that we need here, uh, yeah, okay. First of all, to say that this proposition, uh, the homotopy relation that defined is uh, an equivalence relation. 
relation. Let me show the, the symmetric, just I want to show the symmetric and I will leave the picture here because I want to talk about this later, the symmetric picture. So for the symmetric picture, by the way, the, like the, here is, the reflexivity is always not, we don't need the, this uh, property, okay, if you the category to fill because uh, it's like we have f and f, as we said before, like we can put here s uh, zero of f, right? And then it's a homotopy between f and itself. Like it's good, like s zero of f, it's a play, it's a rule of homotopy. It's good also to remember this when we will talk about simplicial categories and things, like the degeneracy of a map, it's like the homotopy between this map and the, this, okay? We didn't uh, have this in the category, okay. Uh, and then the the symmetric symmetric why this is symmetric I did the picture because I need not to now we are back to the hmm. so as is uh, yeah 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 so so there is no a uh, composition in a quasi categories or or you just say that it doesn't matter. We can compose in. A, a... We will. We will talk about this. So far, we define just composition with with witness. Yeah. But uh, we will. Yeah. You see, like we just define the composition. We feel that there is a problem, and then with the identity, why? What's the relation? We start to ask, and then we need the homotopy to do this. Yes. So yes. you see, like even the the first construct categorical construction, we uh, need some relation. We thought like, okay, it's obvious what is the relation. This homotopy. Okay, so let us prove that this is a equivalence relation, and then we back to see what it's mean for the composition, okay? Yeah, so we see, like, we can't move and move forward, like, define a categorical construction without this homotopy relation. Okay, so let, let me just, so the symmetric, well, we don't have this. Yeah, this is, yeah, the homotopy, no. Ah, yeah, yeah, I found this, <laughs> lastly, okay. I will put it here even in other, because I will need this later for the symmetric. Actually, if I have like this, mm -hmm. we have some simplex between F and G, and we put here actually down. I put down the S zero of F zero of X. Okay, like twice. Like this is X. The Zedigers twice of X. Okay, the danger is twice of x. I put here, and okay, no, no, I don't want to, okay, I can, you know, I can. This is the one that we have, and here what do I put in the other side? In the other side, I will put in the other side, of course, is zero of g, and then we have the symmetric, okay? So I have, like, this is a horn two, like, inside two, so I can fill it, in, I fill it, this one. So if I have a homotopy from F to G, then I have a homotopy from G to F. Okay? So, uh, okay, the syntax 0, 1, 2 uh, is S0 of S0 of X. So this is a syntax which has all of the sides of the four identity of X, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Z, so if it's S0 of X, all the side, yeah. Yeah, if you wanted to have S0 of G, you would have, ah, no. S0 of G is two simplex, like this one. Right? Yeah, I'm just wondering if you speak this question about it, but why is the bottom simplex is not G also? Okay, I can see that then it would be composition of G is equal to G, so that it doesn't make sense, but. Um, no, here is the Y, actually. You just a minute. Actually, if you think about it, this is a map from G to F, and this is a map from F to G, and this is the identity. Yeah. Yeah, like this is a picture. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you something. I can tell you something. We that may be why people move from simplicial cube to simplicial sets. It's easier because actually to do this, uh, obvious you have to put y to be also large. Y here y here x here f here g. Here you move from F to G, here you move to, this is F. 
and you here move to this and here you move to G and here is the identity that you have and the composition is the identity this one is the identity you see this S0 of G in the front is the identity you see so when we move from G to F and from F to G and the composition this is actually composition of maps of, yeah, of uh, higher of homotopies homotopy from here to here composed with homotopy from here to here it gives me the Okay, so my question was uh, different. Because, okay, so but but here, sorry, one one thing that I want to say uh, to say here y, here x, but it have to be a point like this. It has to be like this. This is f from y to x. This is a g. This is and here you put it homotopy and here you put it homotopy and the composition of this homotopy. But because we are working with symbolic, so instead of put x here, we put the digits. See the digits help us to see. X the point as a uh, one simplex as a strangle as well, what, whatever we want. So this is the this is equivalence relation. I didn't put the transitivity, sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Which one here? You back to here. Ah, very good. So after, yeah, after we prove this, after we prove, we come back now to our construction because we show that oh, okay, we have something here. Well, what what's going on here? Ah, sorry, I removed here the composition, but we back to this. Here, the identity, the composition with the identity. We see what is the relation between this and the composition. Like if we compose F with the identity, what we do with with this witness? It doesn't matter which witness. We know that this is homotopic to this because this is the definition of homotopy, right? Like we got, we don't got exactly this, but we got something homotopic to to f. Yeah, we can get f by the way by itself because f homotopic by by, by putting here a zero to be the the witness. Here's the same also. Okay, so f homotopic to this. If we compare. From what? From x to x? S zero x, yeah. Yeah, arrow, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, but because it's symmetric, yeah, I will put this like this. Yeah, I will put like we decide at the beginning. You know? Hmm? Yeah. So you know it looks like when they define like for there is some officer says that when you define product for uh, for uh, in the school at the first time, so don't tell them that five like this is seven uh, if you define this to be seven five times and then don't go to to and then do five, say, something like three, two to do this, uh, the two, three times. Sorry, the, uh, sorry, the three, two times. Three, two times, because then uh, students will confuse because you define this in this way. How you can then go to this way, but because it's the same. It's the same, yeah, it's the same. Actually, this is what uh, actually make no logic in school and we lose our logic in school because some teacher doing this like okay then without 
proves that this is a section. So actually, after proving that this is symmetric, you will not ask if the arrow from this or from this because it's symmetric. But yeah, I have to define this in one way. Yeah, I have to define this in one way at the beginning. But after knowing that symmetric, it doesn't matter where is the arrow. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't understand your question at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, so let's uh, move now. Yeah, let's back to this. What we said now, we see the, what is the relation between this and this. Okay, as obvious, the relation is homotopy. Now, let's back to the composition. What Tamir asked about the composition, it's this the composition, what, what sense it make. Actually, the composition, we see that if we have F, okay, back to the composition. Uh, if we compose uh, this, what we say, there is a composition with sweetness. And we take this, for example, this is H, this to be the composition. But what if we have another witness? What is the relation between the two that consider as a composition? If we have another witness, and I have here K, what is the relation? between K, H, and K. Yeah, because, yeah, they are homotopy. And the, the last time I will uh, will do this picture. Yeah. yeah because all this, this is a technique that people use, and it will be harder and harder if we go to at least one understands this technique very good, like he can send to any dimension without any problem. Yeah, so if we have this, this is sigma, and this is tau here, I put, uh, sorry, or F, hmm, I did some mistake here. Yeah. What, no, this is FG, sorry, this is H, or K, I called it, I called it K. And this, I called it H here, this one, right? Yeah. I want to understand what is the relation between this is G. Yeah. So now it's all more obvious what happened here. And I will put here what I will put here. Yeah, we now know that picture. What we do put here, we put S0 of G or S1 of G. Yeah. S1 of G. And this actually 0, 1, 2. So this is a horn. Like I fill it, fill it, and fill this one. And this is the horn, and we see that after fill this horn, the triangle that we get from this, we get this triangle 0, 3, 2, that relate between H and K. And because this is filled, and this one, because this one we put here is 0 of G, so this one will be, this H will be as 0 of, ah, we didn't decide what, okay, X, Y, Z, so this will be as 0 of Z. So this will be homotopy, right? So K and H are homotopy. But actually, we have more. Like, because someone can ask again and say, OK, you prove that this is homotopic, but by choose, by choosing, by choosing filling, filler here, right? You fill this again. Like you said, OK, from the beginning, you said, oh, I want to, uh, you confuse with this, this feeling by this, we uh, define this like this, and I feel by this, I define this like this. But then you did feel the filler again. You, you put this, and then you feel this, and this is a choice again. And you feel this by some choice. And you said, OK, by this, that is homotopic. But you have a choice. So what is the relation then between two? A different choice. Like if I chose here the simplex, I chose here, for example, the I chose here someone from X3. Let's put something here. Let's say that I choose here something X3, what I can call, call this something gamma. Gamma 1. But maybe someone will choose gamma 2 from X3. So what is the relation between them? It's turned out because of this property, the property of uh, filling the 
uh, what is called weak, weak uh, can -can condition, right? This is called like can -like condition, but it's weaker can condition. Because of this property in the higher order, one can prove that this actually we can put this uh, boat in some symbols and fill between them in good way, like a good way like this that we have something here, the jersey of G of what we have before. Okay, and then one can again ask what is the relation between the higher order because you choose again I can choose some something from here that relate between this but what about the, if I choose two different here again we can choose something about that relate between the things okay what is the relation between them um, how, how we can like write all of this in a good way like all this because actually it's not like the composition is this witness, but we have to define the composition like this that this is the composition and this is the composition okay and everything higher that fill between them is the composition between f and g okay because this is kind of composition of f and g like we compose here we have f and we compose with this one it's one of g it's uh, yeah it's one f which is one of g we compose this is also the composition of FG. So all this, we see that there is a relation between all the higher order composition of FG. There is. But actually all of this together, it's a simplicial set. It's a simplicial set. It's not easy to prove by this. So we will do this in some more modern way to prove that all of this together, it's actually simplicial sets, not any simplicial sets. It's, it's a quasi category, even it's kind complex. Okay. So let's define its algebra. Uh, yeah. Again, Aziz, who, who is, uh, what is the simplicial set? Or can. All this, like this simplex. Ah, okay. And this simplex. And uh, this simplex that uh, relates between them. And all this, all together, is a simplicial uh, okay. set. Okay, we will do it. It's not obvious like this, but we will do this. Oh, I. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Just it is what I don't want. To. Yes. Okay. So let's back to uh, how we do composition in uh, category, in the world of categories. So in the world of categories. Let's back to the world of categories. If we have some C in C1, okay, what I can tell, like in morphism, like morphism of C1. I have FJ like this. C is a category, okay? C is a category. So they have the same here. The, the end of this is the beginning of this. Actually, what we have, we have some object here in this one. Yeah, we have some object here. How we can say that we have some object here? We say that we have from point, or we can say that this is the world of categories, but okay, let's say that we are in sets. We have this, okay? Point from here to here, that FG, that give me a point, FG. And we Okay. 
five minutes.
Uh, yeah, can you move to the second uh, bo board? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what is the, the relation? The, the pullback, the composition at degree zero are the triangles, right? You said the homotopies. So, yeah, no, the, the pullback, the composition. At degree zero, is there a relation between this comp the composition at level zero and the uh, the enrichment at degree one that you that you write uh, that you wrote on, on the right. No, no. Uh, the, the map the map at at degree one the map between x to y. No. Yeah. Yes. But uh, no, no, I mean. No, no, I mean, you, you mentioned that the simplicial sets in reach by itself, right? So at, at degree one, we have like homotopies. Look, look at the right side. Homotopies. X cross uh, delta one to y. So what is the relation between this in, in uh, at level one, the, this enrichment and the composition? Are they the same? Are the same tri triangles? I mean, ah. yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 